Hi everyone, I'm going to make something with these two metal hoops. I just found them in my cheap store and I just thought that I can do something uh, nice with it. So I've been uh, thinking what to do with it and I'm going to do something, I don't know how to call it, if it's only mixed media or if it's some and some large I think it's called but basically I'm going to mount uh, several things and we'll see how it goes I've got this kind of mesh it's some synthetic uh, mesh that also was picked uh, in my cheap store uh, I'm thinking maybe it's used uh, it's something that is used in flower shops to add to an arrangement I don't really care, I just thought this, uh, I'm always using this as a stencil or a, on a jelly plate or I've also uh, took part and put on the uh, altered boxes uh, because it uh, looks a little bit like uh, seaweed or water, I don't, I don't know, but it it's kind of uh, nice to use it and you don't have to have something like that you can try and put uh, some uh, lace or a a any kind of fabric whatever you have so you can mount your things on top of it and I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't sure that my silicone glue would be uh, good enough uh, to attach this uh, mesh to the metal hoops. These are not embroidery hoops, so I don't have anything to hold uh, this stuff. So I'm going to try using my hot glue gun. So let's see. It's giving me trouble right now. Don't know why this color. Okay. A little bit more, just to be sure. Let's see, I'm going to put a little bit on the hoop, like so, and just lay it down. Now I haven't thought about it, it can now attach to <laughs> the paper I have underneath. I should have put some uh, nylon under. Or, let's see, let's do it the other way around. Maybe I'll do it. Like so. And press down the mesh. Let's hope it will work. And that after I'll mount the things I want like I'm going with a uh, sea theme I've got uh, seashells I've got several uh, glass uh, stones that look like uh, sea glass and we'll see as I go along what I'm going to put on So it seems that it's uh, at least it's attach attaching quite good with the hot glue. I'll move it around so I can continue from this side.
Okay, now I need to trim it. There is my scissors. There we go. Okay, I'm going to continue trimming the uh, excess and then I'll attach the smaller hoop and then I'll come back. I'm back and it's attached. I've put a baking sheet underneath in the hopes that if I'm uh, using the uh, hot glue gun it won't uh, stick to it. And I've got this tacky, uh, whatever, napkin, doily whatever it is from the chip store and I've bought it for all these uh, shapes of uh, lace and I'm going to use it now I'm going to take apart several of the shapes from here and attach it to the mesh something like this here I'm thinking and let's see what else I can remove from here maybe another one like this now it's a more about playing with the placement of the elements and when you are satisfied then you take a picture and start gluing one by one until you are satisfied so this should also this will be at the end it's all small and delicate I will leave it to the end I'm thinking of taking more pieces out of this uh, lace from the doily something like this and continue to play with the pieces you get what I'm doing I hope so at least <laughs> and I'm just going to play uh, with it and then I'll come back when everything is in place and we'll continue with the paint job that is going to go all over this so I'll be back I'm back, I've attached uh, all this stuff and of course I managed to burn my fingers so I saved you from my ouch 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 and now I'm going to go all over this with gesso and after that I'm going to paint it I'm not really sure uh, with what kind of paint if it would be with sprays, which kind but I only know that's what, that's what I'm going to do so, uh, finally, just going to go all over everything with gesso. Now, I haven't attached a glass stones uh, as of yet because I want to keep them at the, the color they are already have and I don't want it to be covered with gesso. So, uh, the 
the glass stones are going to come only uh, at the end and the starfish also and because I'm not sure that also I want them to be in the same uh, paint that I'm going to go all over this so for now they are going to stay uh, aside and only when I'm finished gessoing everything and then deciding on what uh, kind of paint to use here then we'll see it's the first time that I'm doing this uh, this kind of project so uh, you see me uh, as I stumble along and figuring uh, as I go what to do and I want to keep the texture of uh, the seashells so I'm trying to coat it with gesso but not to cover the natural texture of each uh, seashell like I, I will go like this on a seashell and not like this because I don't want it, want it to f be filled with gesso it's like with wood that you always uh, has, have to go with the grain so I'm going with the texture of each uh, seashell and I've got here s little strings plastic strings from the hot glue but never mind I will uh, remove them later what uh, doesn't get removed by my brush will be removed later when everything is dry and I can see what I'm doing So uh, basically that's what I'm doing now, just coating everything and I'll be back when everything is uh, coated with the gesso and dry. I'm back, everything is covered with the gesso and dry. I, at the last minute I added a few uh, starfish and also covered them uh, with the gesso. Now I'm going to take, I've got... Uh, mixed media sprays by Marabu and I'm going to try and cover this with uh, this kind of colors uh, I've got one of them the spray bottle wasn't working so I have just put it to a general uh, spray bottle I'm going for uh, doesn't for putting uh, the darker color uh, down and I'm gonna add as I go and we'll see what happens I really like this uh, sprays but I don't know how it will take and sometimes only when they get dry you can uh, see what happens okay so uh, I'm, I need to leave it uh, be, there is a lot of spray here, I'm guessing it will take quite some time uh, to get dry, I don't want to use uh, any heat tool, I don't want uh, to move, From some, for some reason this color just uh, doesn't take too well to the gesso, but I leave it be for now and when it's dry we'll see what I'm going to do uh, and maybe I will uh, go over it with another spray so I'll be back when everything is dry
I'm back. So it's almost dry. It's more uh, like a little bit uh, wet on the underside, but it's not uh, bothering me now. I just want to give a little highlights uh, on top. First, I thought about using silver, but then I wanted to just go with the theme of the, the, the blues. And I've got this to a uh, folk art uh, pearlescent uh, colors I've got here uh, what's this aqua something <laughs> and tafeta blue so uh, I'm gonna try I'm thinking maybe trying first like a dry brush when you take a, a brush and you put a little bit of color on top and then you go on the raised surfaces like so it's very subtle i'm not uh, trying to make it scream out <laughs> so i'm gonna do this and at the end I'll bring it uh, closer to the camera so you can see what I've done. And on uh, where there are smooth surfaces I'm really trying to uh, be careful because I don't want it uh, to cover the paint that I've sprayed. That's a what I'm doing now only supposed to pick up highlights and I'm going also where the, the hoop is so I'll bring it uh, closer to the camera I hope you can see what I'm doing so I'll keep doing it and I'll be back I'm back. I finished with the highlights. Uh, I hope you can see what I've done. Like so. And also here. And now I just want to start adding some of my uh, uh, stone glass that I have. And this resembles sea glass, but it was bought. Uh, in a cheap store nothing that it's not something that I found uh, on a beach so I'm just gonna add it and I'm going to use the silicone glue I got tired from <laughs> burning my fingers on my hot glue so it will have I will have to do uh, with this so I'm just putting like so and silicone glue at the back and let's see you know <laughs> now i don't know where i want to put the the stones the glass stones Oops. Yeah. Here. I'm thinking maybe uh, adding not only ones that look like uh, like sea glass, maybe. I'll put some like this or let's see the great what's good with the the clear ones is that you can 
and you put a nail polish on the back side and give it the color let's see how this will work because it's quite uh, light color so but it's really interesting so I like it I'm gonna make a few more and then I'm gonna glue them down I really like it I'm putting the two colors so it's uh, on each stone so it's more interesting thinking maybe adding here and maybe I'll do two more so I'll wait for this to dry and then I'll come back I'm back and I need to attach the two uh, hoops uh, to each other and uh, so I can also uh, have something that I can uh, hang it on the wall so I took three uh, ribbons uh, two organs uh, ribbons and one this I don't know how to call it and I'm gluing them together and the organs uh, you probably can't see it and I'm working on the baking sheet so the silicone glue that keeps uh, seeping through uh, one stick and I'm just placing it putting glue down and attaching the ribbons like so and now this one and then I'll glue uh, this ribbon to the two hoops. I'll be right back. I'm back. I have uh, finished gluing down the three uh, <laughs> uh, strips of uh, fabric, the organza and uh, this, and I've glued the hoops uh, to, to this with the glue gun. Uh, here I just trimmed it with uh, scissors and up up here I just left it for now like this I don't know how I want to finish it maybe I'll just tie a ribbon but this is it I'm finished uh, with this uh, project uh, I hope you liked it I'm going to bring it a little closer to the camera so you can see the details like so so basically this is it and I thank you for watching Thank you for leaving me comments uh, down below in uh, on the video and I'll be seeing you in my next uh, project so bye for now.